can't believe that after two years I'm sitting down to film a video. Who am I? I don't even know. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, it's been a good two years since I last made a video, so it feels kind of weird just sitting in front of a camera right now. But I thought that as my introduction to restarting my channel, I would film a Q&A. So I asked anyone on my Instagram to send me some questions. Um, this is the third time that I'm filming this video. I did ask that like two weeks ago and here I am refilming again. But yeah, third time's a charm, you know, hopefully. Yeah, so I've got the questions here on my phone. I'm gonna be reading them from my phone so that's why I might be looking down. I'm just pretty much just gonna jump into it because my camera's on 47% and that basically means it's got 10 minutes left in it. Okay, so the first question that I got asked was, do you live by the ocean or do you have to travel for inspiration? I take it as pretty much everyone watching this will be from my Instagram anyway, so you probably know. But yeah, I'm an ocean artist, so that's why this is kind of going to be the running theme throughout this video. But yeah, I do live by the ocean. I live in Brighton in the UK. So yeah, that's literally right along the coast. It's perfect for taking reference photos. But yeah, I do like to use Pinterest and also some stock photos as well when I'm looking for inspiration. So there's two questions which kind of fit together. So I'm going to put them together. Did you go to art school? If so, when did you graduate? Also, are you self-taught? How long did it take you to really feel good at painting? So... I would say I am self-taught, I didn't go to art school and I would say that this is the first year that I've probably looked at my work and been happier with it so it's probably taken my whole life, <laughs> 21 years, no, um, I started taking art more seriously in 2017 so I would say maybe about two and a half years since I've been really trying at it. Do you work freelance full time or do you also have a part time job? So I'm actually a full time student, I'm doing ecology and conservation and I've just finished my third year so I'm going into my masters in September. I do have a part time job, definitely not the most glamorous job let me tell you, but some weeks I definitely paint enough to count that as a full time job. So the third question, wait. The next question. So the next question that I got was, how long have you been painting for and where slash you do you get your inspiration from? Um, so I've been painting for, well, I've been painting my entire life pretty much, but I, as I said before, I started taking it more seriously in 2017. So that was around November. So I would say almost three years now, almost three years. So I get most of my inspiration from, well, Obviously the ocean because my art is all seascapes, um, waves. Yeah, so obviously my main inspiration is the ocean, but I also do get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, stock photos, surf photographers. Obviously like seeing other artists and how much they're succeeding really drives me to improve my own art. What motivates you to keep on painting? So just the love of painting really keeps me Sometimes it's really hard to notice progress, I think. But then sometimes scrolling back down and looking through my old paintings and the first seascapes that I painted, I look back at them now and I'm like, can't believe I actually painted that two years ago. Um, there was no skill in that. So yeah, just seeing, just seeing how far I've come personally throughout the last three years what motivates me because I think about where I could be in the next three years and where my art could take me really. What is the key to perfection in art for you? Is it practicing? I would definitely say practicing. Practicing, experimenting for sure. I've definitely experimented with quite a few mediums over the years. I've done some macrame, I've done a lot of painting, so I've used gouache, acrylic, watercolours, I've tried some alcohol inks before, I've tried acrylic pores, I've tried resin. I would say I would say really just experiment, find what you love and just practice. Half the things I create don't even make it to Instagram. The amount of pieces that I paint back 
back over until I finally paint something that I like. So don't let it discourage you. What video editor do you use? So I will use iMovie to cut all the clips and put them in sequence and maybe put the audio. And then I will add on some like special effects in Premiere Pro. How did you find your art style? I would say accidentally. <laughs> I, was, like, I wasn't really trying to use a particular style, I was just trying to paint what I saw. But then when I scroll through my Instagram I do see a clear theme so I don't know really. Oh, what kind of music do you paint to and examples please? I don't know. Oh that's such a nice question. I paint uh, a lot of the time I paint to music like Bon Iver, sometimes some piano. Oh, Bane's World. A lot of the time I don't listen to music, I actually listen to YouTube videos and true crime, <laughs> not gonna lie. Sometimes movies, I have painting movies that I will put on in the background. I know them inside out, but they just make me feel really inspired. Like um, Jurassic Park, a bit random, but I love painting to that film. Sorry, I feel like I'm losing light because it's started raining outside. Um, this was not planned for. When did you decide that you wanted to sell your art? So I decided in November of 2017 and that's when I opened my Etsy shop. Literally so glad that I did that because it really, really pushed me to keep on painting. And then seeing people actually wanting my art in their homes was like blowing my mind. Like I just couldn't believe that people actually wanted to pay for my art. Crazy. I still can't really. Such a fluke. Do you feel oils are better for oceans than acrylics due to longer drying time slash blending? I personally think it depends on the size and what you're painting on. So I think that for smaller pieces I prefer acrylics and then for bigger pieces I prefer oil so that I can go back to it. But I find it easier to add in fine details with acrylics. But then I know a lot of amazing artists which will paint with oils no matter how small it is so that's just personally me. What thinner do you use for oil paint? So I use refined linseed oil. If you, anyone has a better and cheaper option let me know but that's just what works for me. Never used anything else. Uh, don't feel the need to change either. I'd love some tips on mixing blue tones and creating shades in white wash. I feel like every time I just make it up I don't have actual techniques for mixing colours. That's why most my my paintings are in the same kind of like tonal range because I just it's what I'm comfortable with. But I use a lot of titanium whites and I'll mix that with ultramarine blue and black to create different shades for like sea foam. And then I use phthalo blue, phthalo turquoise, phthalo green uh, when I'm using acrylics, but then if I'm using oils, I use Viridian Greens and Persian Blue, just because those are the colours that I have. Yeah, my camera just overheated, not very convenient, because now I can't remember what question I was on. Oh, I think I was talking about mixing colours. Yeah, so really, I don't really have a set technique, I just pretty much make it up on the spot. Those are the colours that I have, those are the colours that I love to use. Did you always paint seascapes? Do you paint other things? And if yes, what are they? So I started off not painting seascapes. I used to paint a lot of galaxies, landscapes, whales, like animals. I used to pretty much paint whatever I felt like painting at the time. At the time, but then in 2018, yeah. And middle to end of 2018, I moved to Brighton. And I was just always at the beach, I was in a new place, I was just feeling, I was just feeling like a fresh start and I was just feeling so inspired and that is what changed my style from more like, I feel like my art was kind of influenced by like spirituality but then it became more influenced by what I was seeing right in front of me which was the ocean. Um, I think I've got time for maybe one more question. I'm really sorry if I haven't answered your question in this video. I did actually answer every single one in the first two takes, but I just hated them and I can't upload that. 
<laughs> okay, so this is one question completely not in the theme that's been running throughout this Q&A, but still. How do you take care of and grow your plants? So yeah, I have I have a lot of plants. Um, I did have more. I did have like almost, well, in our old house, my housemate and I, we had about 250, almost 300 between us. So yeah, definitely downsized since then. I don't know how we got to that point, but yeah. So with most of my plants, I just water them when the first two inches of the soil are dry or when the pot's feeling light. And I fertilize them with all-purpose fertilizer, but I try not to use that very often. I use it maybe, maybe every three to four weeks on some plants. Um, and just a little bit when I water them but I usually try and make my own fertiliser from banana skins so I soak those in water for four days in a jar and it releases the potassium or so I read on Instagram yeah I water my plants with that, they seem to love it I'm always getting new shoots after I fertilise them so yeah I think it's going pretty well thank you so much to everyone that sent me a question for this video I really appreciate it so that I didn't have to make them up on my own. Yeah, so if you'd like to see some painting tutorials, some more behind the scenes footage, behind the paintings, um, as well as maybe just some like lifestyle videos, I don't know. Yeah, stick around, maybe subscribe. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and thank you if you made it to the end. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>